Hello everybody, FAI Hero I here, and welcome back to another FAI Tips and Tricks video. And in today's Tips and Tricks video, I thought we'd talk about, well, turning radius, and how to properly turn on Star Wars Squadrons. I know this seems like a bit of a video of why would you be making this, but too often, especially in piloting games, and any piloting game, really, we do not know how to turn. I mean, we just don't know how to pilot because we are going way too fast. We are often just being on the factor of speed rather than turning radius and stuff like that. But realistically, turning radius is something that, you know, you should know, you should really have a clue about, and maybe you should even have a little bit of an idea about because at the end of the day, anyway, yeah, there is a lot of things that we need to know about turn radius and turning, um, just to be effective. And one of these things is, how do we turn? Because if you go too slow, you're obviously not going to be able to turn very fast, you're obviously not going to be able to do, you know, the major maneuvers that you need to. And if you go too fast, you're just going to be going in a straight line with hardly any turning at all. So, what is the uh, sweet spot? So, when it comes to turn race, like I said before, if you're going too fast, you're just going to go in a straight line and you may turn just a tiny little bit, but you're not going to turn a lot. And if you go too slow, you're not going to be turning at all and you're just going to be a dead target. So, how do you fix this? Well, in games like Elite Dangerous, there's a certain bar that you can reach, which I will talk about in a future video for Elite Dangerous. But, in this particular game, Star Wars Squadrons, yeah, there is a um, small amount of give that you can take, which is right in the middle. And, Star Wars Squadrons pretty much tried to make this as noticeable and as easy as possible for you to notice, so that you could in general be able to turn effectively but obviously we as players just don't realize it so you know yeah you're not going to be at your max speed when you do effectively reach the maximum amount your of your turn radius and the maximum amount of your turn but you will be in the best chance to dogfight it out and be better at the turn bell than your opponents will be and that's pretty much the way that you gotta play and that's pretty much how you can be effective in star wars squadrons or in any real piloting based game because in piloting games every game has a certain sweet spot that you can reach and in the case of star wars squadrons you'll see through the gameplay that being right in the dead center of your speed odometer will give you the most amount of turn radius and will give you the max turn radius for that particular, you know, shit, or in this case, that particular game. Now, does this affect your speed and stuff like that? Yeah, a little bit, but it's not as in detail as, um, really dangerous. So, in general, you're not going to have as much detail or thought about when it comes to your customizations and your advancements to tuning or adjusting for turn radius and stuff. You still have power management and whatnot that we will talk about in a future video, but this is just a little quick tips and tricks video to get you out there at being effective as a dogfighter. And if you want to become an effective dogfighter, then you've got to be able to know what is your max turn radius. What can give you the best chance at being in turning or having to turn go the way you want to go. So by doing that, you've got to just stick it right in the middle of the speedo dollar. You can't just have it be like, you know, <clears throat> part way or all the way um, to this certain point. You can't have it at max speed all the time and you definitely can't have it at like, you know, slow speed because you're just not going to effectively turn out your opponent or whatever. 
But that's just something that will happen, of course. Anyway, that's just some quick tips and tricks on how to become an effective dogfighter. Um, especially like learning about turn radius. Every every flight game has a special turn radius, which effectively makes you turn at your max speed. So when it comes to Star Wars Squadrons, the very middle of your speedometer is how you can effectively get the most turn and the max turn out of your radius, and effectively be a good dogfighter in the turn radius battle because that's something that you know effectively is the best for you. Anyway, that is the quick tips and tricks video for how to become an effective turn uh, radius master, how to effectively dogfight. I know this may seem hard at first because, you know, it's going to be like, I'm going too slow. I am going too slow. I'm not getting the most speed to um, effectively dogfight these people. But it's not always about speed. Sometimes you've just got to slow down and effectively outmaneuver your opponent, which means sticking right at the middle of the speedodometer, not trying to go super fast, not trying to go super slow, um, you know, just stay right in the middle, and you'll effectively be able to outmaneuver or outturn most players. In fact, I would guarantee that your your effectiveness on dogfighting would be much better than it would be if you were to try and go super fast all the time. But with that being said. Anyway, I hope these, this video has helped you with tips and tricks, especially on being better at turn radius and stuff, and just managing your turns effectively. Um, in a future video, we will be talking about pit management or power management and how to be effective there. In a future video, we will be talking about power management or pit management, and that will be another talks video, another tips, a future tips and tricks video. Um, another future tips and tricks video is shield management, because, like, right now, in the Empire, of course, you don't have, um, shields unless you're using, like, the Reaper, but as an X-Wing or, um, or a Rebel pilot, you will have shields to manage, but we'll talk about that stuff later on in a future video. I hope these tips and tricks videos have helped you, and if you have any questions about tips and tricks, especially on turn radius, don't be afraid to ask me in the comment section down below. I will try to answer them either in a future video or I will answer them via comments. Thank you everyone for joining me today on this channel. Thank you for watching this channel. Somewhere in this video, you probably saw a like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch button um, so, or Twitch input somewhere down below. Um, if you want to follow me and see what's going on live on Twitch, feel free to follow me live on Twitch at at the link down below, which will be in the description. If we can get this video to 10 likes, that'd be amazing. Otherwise, I would love to see you become part of my subscription base on YouTube, and also follow me on Twitch. But with that being said, thank you everybody for joining me today on this video. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for enjoying these tips and tricks. Like I said, if you have any questions about turn radius or being better at dogfighting, feel free to ask them in the tips below. I will try to answer them either in comments or if you follow me and ask me live on Twitch, I will try to answer them live on Twitch. But with that being said, thank you everyone for dropping by. Thank you for watching this video. And until the next one, everybody, this is FAI or I <clears throat> signing out and saying. <clears throat> Farewell, everyone!